Hi everyone, uh, back today with another uh, thing I want to share with everybody because I think it's important and lots of people that are new to cryptocurrency uh, won't know this. So uh, this time it's another essay by Yonald Fukbal, uh, who has a whole bunch of fantastic essays he's posted over there on Medium. So please uh, go and take a look at his essays. But uh, today's one that I'm going to go over, it was from September 18th, 2017. Uh, so you might wonder why am I reading, you know, almost two-year-old essays because it's still every bit as relevant today. And uh, the title of this one is Why Some People Call Bitcoin Cash Bcash. This will be shocking to new readers and people that are new to the cryptocurrency ecosystem, uh, they may be shocked as to exactly what the origin of the Bcash nickname for Bitcoin Cash was. And uh, here comes his essay. So uh, Yonald says, the August 1st, 2017 fork of Bitcoin is called Bitcoin Cash. It was announced late July on BitcoinCash.org. The fork happened because after four long years, core developers and their corporate sponsors were successful in pulling the wool over the eyes of the community. You see, Bitcoin was always supposed to be peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. It was intended as a permissionless network with fast and low fee payments. This is what made it famous and allowed it to become a multi-billion dollar asset. Unfortunately, those core developers had other ideas and are changing Bitcoin into what is called a settlement layer, which ultimately won't be a peer-to-peer -peer system anymore. There's a mighty big difference between the peer-to-peer -peer money we all know and love that exists today and the layered system that the Bitcoin core group envisions for the future. A huge difference, like night and day. They are upset that Bitcoin forked, especially because the fork calls itself Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash may have less hash power and a smaller network than Bitcoin, but it follows the original roadmap, the original code design, and the original vision of Bitcoin as peer-to-peer -peer money. Bitcoin Core, on the other hand, is much more like an altcoin with a complex, overhyped code labyrinth called SegWit. A refusal to allow Bitcoin to scale on-chain is designed by Satoshi and a roadmap that takes away the power of the people and changes Bitcoin into a platform for the banks. And no, that's not an exaggeration. So they started the Bcash social engineering attack. Make no mistake, this is an attack with the same tactics they've been using for years in trying to control public opinion. In the past, their main weapon has been censorship. This time, they want to relabel Bitcoin Cash and hope it catches on. It won't work. Even the exchanges, which are sympathetic to CORE, are aware that playing politics here will cost them business and reputation. The attack is more malicious than you think. It's not just that they have a bunch of trolls, some paid, who go around saying blah blah Bcash. They actually use their censorship at our Bitcoin and try to redirect unsuspecting users to r slash bcash, which is a subreddit they control. Don't believe for one second their lies, if I call it that because it's an abbreviation. That's a lie. Nope, this is an orchestrated social engineering attack. In fact, they have fake subreddits, fake Twitter accounts, fake websites, you name it. Why are they going to all this trouble? It's simple. They want to disassociate Bitcoin Cash from Bitcoin. They don't want to allow Bitcoin Cash to use the Bitcoin brand name. And that's completely hypocritical given the fact that the core group has used every dirty trick in the book. Censorship, corporatism, lies and stalling, all cited here in Yonald's essay, to usurp the Bitcoin project to their own ends. By contrast, all Bitcoin Cash is trying to do is continue making the blocks bigger so that the peer-to-peer -peer network can grow. Their secret hopes. They are hoping that they can remove the Bitcoin name from Bitcoin Cash. They are hoping that new users won't even realize there's another version of Bitcoin. They are hoping that those users won't realize that Bitcoin was originally peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, not this settlement layer core is pushing. And ultimately, they are hoping people don't see that Bitcoin has changed course and that there's a version of Bitcoin that stayed with the original formula. It's not going to work. 
Cheap tactics like this aren't going to fool many people for long. Sorry, Kor. You're going to have to compete on merit. I know that scares you to death. So there's another fantastic essay by Yonald written a couple of years ago. He nailed it exactly right. But so many people that are new to Bitcoin, they might not realize that uh, the whole name Bcash was literally a social engineering attack in which they intentionally tried to drive people to, to fake websites and fake subreddits and fake things that they control, trying to disassociate the Bitcoin Cash name from Bitcoin. Whereas if you read the white paper, it's very clearly describing Bitcoin Cash. It's BTC has no white paper. It has no guiding principles at this point. Uh, at this point, it's just a pump and dump. Maybe there won't be a dump, but it's a pump scheme that a bunch of people think they can get rich off of it uh, when there isn't actually in a, any underlying utility. So uh, if you were excited about Bitcoin, uh, as described in the white paper, you're excited about Bitcoin Cash. So thank you, Arnold, for speaking out and writing such fantastic essays. And I intend to make more videos out of your essays in the future. If you like this truth being spread and truth bombs be continuing to be spread, share this video with a friend, share Yonald's uh, essays, and share this YouTube channel, and head on over to Bitcoin.com where uh, we stand up for the truth and we're more interested in that uh, than anything else. So the truth is more important than being popular or sock puppets on the internet. So see you all next time.